Hey, Golfaholics, we are here at uh, historic Firestone Country Club uh, right outside of Akron, Ohio, and we are happy to have with us uh, Tommy Moore, who is the director of golf here at Firestone now. And, Tommy, we just got done playing all three courses over the last three days, and I have to tell you, the variety of golf here is outstanding, and I don't think people really realize that. No, I, you know, I get feedback all the time about all three golf courses after somebody's had an opportunity to stay and play. And, and, and the three are very unique. And if you took them individually and you just picked one of the 18 out and you moved it somewhere else in the country and you put a clubhouse around it and you put a pool, and you put some tennis, I would guarantee you that any of the three golf courses would have a waiting list to join. So stand alone, they're outstanding. Together, it's perfection. All three golf courses. Of course, everybody at home has seen Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus and all the pros playing the WGC on the South Course and all the, what, 67 tournaments that have been played yes. on the South Course over the years. Uh, and, and people want to come and play that iconic golf course. But the North Course and the West Course, when people come to play, I think they're going to be pleasantly surprised at the variety of golf and the quality of golf there. Absolutely. Our West Course, our Fazio-designed course, is user-friendly off the tee. We've played it together. So ample room for your tee shots, only to be exceeded by outstanding approach shots and a, tri a, a, a tricky, sneaky green complex on all 18 out there on the West. Now, the north is my favorite because you have to move it left to right. You have to move it right to left. You've got to hit it high. You've got to bring it in low. And I arguably, I think it's got to probably have the best six holes around a body of water that I've seen in a long time. Well, you make a really good point. So the north does have a little more water over there, and it's in the valley. Of course, it's in the low area. And you've got holes playing across it going out, coming back to it. And then when you go back out again on the back nine, you play over it, and you come back to it again for the last couple of holes. 17, that iconic peninsula green, probably a lot of people have seen that. That's a, that's a pretty cool hole. And then 18, playing, you got to drive over the water and then play along it, skirt along on the right side, coming back to the green. Yep, 17 on the north. It's iconic, but it's also my favorite shot. You're over a body of water. It's surrounded on three sides. Like you said, it's a peninsula. There's a very small area to walk up to that green. So when you're over there, it's a daunting tee shot. And you've just got to commit, make sure you make a good move at it, and hopefully you're getting it on the green. 18's outstanding for a five par. It is just, it, you've got to drive it over a body of water, and then you're not safe, because then you've got to come over a small creek to getting to the green. So that risk and reward shot even plays great more greatly um, in your mind because should I lay up, play it safe, or can I go for it? So they're two great finishing holes right around the same body of water. Let's talk for a minute about the West. You alluded to the fact that uh, Tom Fazio is pretty much known for his uh, bunker work and his green complexes, and he really did a marvelous job over on the West Course. Uh, just every hole is a delight. Thank you. I feel the same way. I think it's visually pleasing to the eye. Every single hole, when I'm with people here for the first time and they're playing the West, everybody stops for a little bit on, on a tee. Sometimes I forget that, and I just hit my shot, and I continue to my cart, and, I'm, and I find myself 20, 30, 40 feet ahead of them, and, and when I look back, they're just on the tee admiring things, and, I, and, I, and I'm taking it for granted already on how beautiful every shot is. I think what's really great is once you've completed the hole, if you just take a moment from the green and you look back to the tee, it's amazing. You see the hole completely different from the tee to the green you see exactly what Fazio wanted you to see but when you turn around and you take your take a time or a moment to look from the green back it's amazing the hole looks completely different yeah I we were uh, uh, talking about I think number five uh, the the bunker complex there through the fairway and up to the green it's just standing on the tee looking at it, it's absolutely gorgeous yes it is and that's that's one of the holes when when you're on the tee you say oh my goodness Boy, there's a lot of bunkers out there. And then when you finish the hole, you putt out. When you turn around, standing right on the green, and you look back, you can't see a single bunker. It's very unique, and it's fun. It really is. Let's talk just a minute about the new stay and play program that you're going here. Firestone has always been private, and so not a lot of people have had the opportunity to play here over the years, but you're opening that up now with a stay and play option. So, And you have, I think, 87 rooms of property, places that you can stay here on property. There's rooms in the clubhouse. There's condos. There's all kinds of different opportunities. Um, and the stay and play is a great place for, for buddies trips or if you want to bring the family or something like come over. 
get to play these three iconic horses and see this facility. Yeah, we are very excited heading into next season to be able to offer this. I think it's super important to understand that we're still a private club with memberships, but with limited opportunity for stay and play options, as opposed to, well, pro, what's the difference? Well, the difference would be a resort with members, and we know their names, and there's many of those in the United States. However, we're still staying fo- staying grounded in our roots, and that is that we are a private club with members, but we are offering these limited opportunities now for stay and play, and we are so excited to share Firestone with the rest of the world. You can see over my shoulder here the uh, iconic water tower with the Firestone logo on it. Everybody in the world has seen that. Uh, we're looking also the clubhouses in the background here. The, the first tee is right over our shoulder. Uh, we've got uh, some of the pros from around Ohio here today playing in the Ohio Cup. Uh, you've got groups coming in here all the time, different tournaments going on. Uh, if people want to do this, they need to start booking it right now for next year. Yes, they do. We are we're going to ride the momentum when we phased out. It's been a very difficult year for everybody in the country, obviously, and the golf industry in particular with the pandemic that went on. We are so happy and excited about the momentum that we're we have now and now it's continuing into next season the bookings are already happening we've got people already set up for june july august stays yeah the bridgestone's coming back here we've got to make sure that we have opportunities around that tournament so heading into next season i think we're as excited as it's ever been here at firestone well, Tommy, we have uh, absolutely are enjoyed our three days here. Uh, I, this has been a bucket list stop for a long, long time. Of course, I've been here when the WGs are here. WGCs have been here to see the courses um, and uh, to get to play them and spend some time with you and Jay. It's uh, been a wonderful couple of days, and I look forward to getting back over here again. Thank you. It was our pleasure. We're so happy we can have you here. Thank you.